G'day folks, Connor here from CW's Tech Reviews, back with another video. And today we're having a quick look at the Vixing gaming mouse from Amazon. Well, I bought it off Amazon. It's from Vixing. So we're going to go check it out. Hit the like button and the subscribe button and let's get stuck into the video. Let's go. All right, everyone, currently using the Logitech wireless mouse. Yeah, not bad, does the trick, but I do do a lot of ed editing, so I'm looking for something a little bit more responsive, uh, something a bit more sturdy. This is pretty small. Probably the sort of thing you throw in your laptop bag if you're going out to a coffee shop or something like that. Certainly uh, doesn't really fit with my current setup. So I've got the Vixing, v -I -C, it's V-I-C-T-S-I-N-G. So I'm pronouncing it wrong. I can pretty much guarantee you that. Vixing. Vixing gaming mouse it says here this is on this is on Amazon Vixing gaming mouse ergonomic gaming mouse with 7200 dpi breathing led backlight seven programmable buttons for gamer pc laptop computer desktop blah 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 currently going for 20 dollars australian dollars on Amazon around the rest of the world that means you'll get it for about 5 us dollars because we all know we get scammed in Australia. Amazon Prime, it's an Amazon Choice product, so it should be okay. But as you can see, packaging's pretty bland. So, we've got here a little CD. We've got here a manual. So, I'm actually looking forward to having some programmable buttons on this, especially for my editing. If I can just click here to chop and click there to paste and click there to bring up my color grading, then I'm going to be really happy and my workflow is going to improve a little bit. So, you know, for you gamers, you might really enjoy having those extra buttons on your mouse. I haven't been a gamer since I started my YouTube channel. And the reason for that is once I start gaming, I don't do anything else. There's some good products out there that are made for gaming that are good for everyday use. I love that bubble stuff. Just love it. Always have loved that. Here's the mouse. That looks pretty beefy, pretty chunky. Let's have a look there at the difference in size. You can certainly see that the gaming mouse is much bigger. Feels much heavier as well. I'm just going to plug and play and see if that works. You know, I've got the CD there, but I imagine that's to program it all. Hopefully anyway. Hopefully it doesn't come with too much malware. We'll see how we go. Get rid of this red tie, red clip. Right, plug and play. Setting up gaming device. It says setting up game mouse. I like how they call it the game mouse. Wireless mouse, gone. Game mouse, on deck. So, you know what? Straight up, it seems faster and more responsive to the mouse that I was using, which is a win-win for me. So, let me go through some of the specs of this. You've got 16 million colors that can be chosen from the backlight. That's pretty impressive. The light color, light brightness level, and light breathing speed and light effects can be customized to suit me. So that's pretty cool too. I mean, I do like that, that blue look, but my computer is set up with that sort of red theme. So I might mix and match and play around with it a bit and we'll see what the final result is. 7,200 DPI adjustable, five DPI levels. You've got 7,200, 5,500, 3,500, 2,400 and 1,200. It supports macro editing. So seven mouse buttons can be programmed by installing the software and three user settings can be saved. So one for me, one for old mate and one for old mate over here. We can all use the same PC, same mouse. So that's pretty cool as well. I might have one setting for editing and another setting for gaming and then another setting just for general everyday use. So you can customize it to suit your flavor. That's pretty much it. It's got the matte finish, uh, nice scroll wheel on it with some rubber on it. You got your buttons on the sides, buttons on the top, button here, button there. Look at that, changes color. That suits the keyboard, so that looks pretty cool. You can see that there, blue, red. Now this is compatible with Windows 7, 8, 10, XP, Vista, Linux, Mac. It says it's compatible with all of them. I'm running Windows 10, so uh, it's already up and running for me. Although some functions are invalid for Mac, so you do have to consider that. I'm not gonna be able to tell you which ones because I don't use Mac. 
But overall impressions, straight up, just plug and play, it seems to work well. It does feel more ergonomic than this little beast. I don't mind the Logitech, they're a really good brand, but this feels good. You can see I got a nice logo on it there for T for Tixing, 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 I don't know how to say it. Tixing, we'll just go with Tixing, Tixing. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. There's going to be links down below to Amazon. If it's on eBay, I'll put links down there as well for eBay, whatever your preference is. I really do appreciate you coming by and watching my video. Hit that like button and the subscribe button, and I will catch you in the next video. Check out.